I was too busy raising my kids to realize what was happening. Certain rooms in the house were off limits. I would go over and you'd see like 30 boxes covered with a sheet. And I was like, what's that? He's like, it's nothing. We don't tell anybody about this. That was it for 40 years. I had to escape. I remember seeing a therapist and I finally let it out. My husband has comics. My father got the first solo issue of Superman from 1939. It was locked away for decades. We found out that was the second nicest copy of that book on the planet. That book could easily go for three to four million dollars. My father had Asperger's, but not knowing it caused a lot of friction. It seems like ultimate fixation and hoarding. He kept collecting and needed more space and more space and more space. You have no idea how oppressive he can be. He was constantly neurotic about the security of the collection. We have each of them humidity control, climate control, multiple layers of security. He would have thought that was cool. I'm sure his father loved him, but I don't know if Darren truly felt it. Nothing Darren did was ever good enough. He made life livable, but not worth living. I divorced. I said, I don't want any part of them. If I wasn't around, there would be a big dumpster outside, and she would just tell him that. You want to give me three and a half million dollars for that comic? Bye bye. There is a little bit of a responsibility to make sure some of this stuff is preserved. This stuff survived world wars, depressions, cultural differences, racial realizations, women's rights. Everything is reflected in these stories. You can be like I want to work with people that want to be involved in sharing it. We're gonna put so many of these books in the right hands that people are gonna lose their shit.